Imagine discovering an 18th century Spanish galleon submerged in the Caribbean Sea. This treasure trove, dubbed the Holy Grail of shipwrecks, is valued at a staggering 20 billion in today's currency. But this remarkable find has sparked a battle for ownership that forces us to revisit some of history's darker days. Three centuries ago, this galleon plunged into the depths, carrying an unimaginable wealth. Its cargo held approximately 200 tons of gold, silver, emeralds, and priceless artifacts. With such an incredible fortune at stake, it's no wonder multiple parties are vying for their share. The shipwreck was discovered by the Colombian Navy a few years ago, resting more than 3,000 feet below the surface. The then president of Colombia, Juan Manuel Santos, hailed it as the most valuable find in the history of humanity. Both Santos and his successor, Gustavo Petro, prioritized the retrieval of this sunken treasure. But before any excavation can begin, the Colombian government must first win a four-way custody battle over the shipwreck's treasure. A salvage company, Sea Search Armada, claims they found the shipwreck first, invoking maritime salvage laws that date back to the Byzantine era. Beyond the Colombian government and the salvage company, Spain and the Cara Cara nation, an indigenous culture from Bolivia also stake their claim to the shipwreck and its valuable treasure. The Spanish argue that the ship was theirs, while the Cara Cara people believed the treasure was taken from their land. The Cara Cara people are an indigenous group from Bolivia, a subset of the Quechua-speaking people of the Andes Mountains. During Spain's colonization of the Americas, they experienced significant disruption and exploitation, including the theft of their gold and silver. From the late 15th century, Spain began colonizing South America, motivated by the desire to spread Christianity, establish global empires, and control the wealth and natural resources of the Americas, including the rich deposits of gold and silver. The San Jose, a 64-gun Spanish galleon, was sent to South America to bring back riches to finance the War of the Spanish Succession. Its cargo comprised 200 tons of gold and silver mined from Bolivia and Peru using the forced labor of enslaved Cara Cara people, along with gold and silver artifacts taken from their cities. During the War of Spanish Succession, the San Jose was sunk by British Royal Navy warships, sending its crew and immense treasure to the ocean floor. The exact location of the shipwreck remained unknown for centuries. Spain argues that since the San Jose was a Spanish ship, the treasure rightfully belongs to them. They contend that if the ship had not been sunk, the gold would have ended up in Spain's coffers three centuries ago. The Colombian government believes that since the wreck of the San Jose was discovered in Colombian waters, ownership should belong to them. They argue that if valuable items are found in your territory, they should rightfully belong to you. The Cara Cara people argue that since the gold and silver were extracted from their territory using their labor, they should be the rightful owners. Additionally, they claim that the indigenous artifacts made from gold, silver and precious gems that were stolen from them by colonizers should be returned. Today, the harmful effects of colonialism on indigenous people are widely criticized. There is a growing movement to return stolen artwork statues and historical artifacts to the cultures from which they were taken. Resolving this dispute is a complex task. In addition to the salvage company, Colombia, Spain, and the Cara Cara Nation, Panama and Peru, have also claimed a share of the treasure. The issue is currently under arbitration in London, with all claims being carefully considered. Until the ownership issue is resolved, the $20 billion treasure will remain at the bottom of the sea. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and learn more about how we enhance history.